How do aircraft fly? Whatever may be the time you are watching this video, right now there are 5000 commercial planes flying above in the sky and a whopping number of 170000 flights flying every day in the sky. But how do airplanes fly? What is the principle behind them? Basically, four factors are responsible for an airplane to fly. Thrust, drag, weight, lift. Thrust. Thrust is an aerodynamic force that has to be created by an airplane in order to overcome the drag. Airplanes create thrust using propellers, jet engines, or rockets. Drag. Drag is an aerodynamic force that presses the forward motion of an airplane flying through the air. To understand how drag works, stick your hand out of a car window while moving. The amount of drag that your hand creates depends on few factors, such as the size of your hand, the speed of the car, and the density of the air. If you were slow down, you would notice that the drag of your hand would decrease. Weight. This one is the easiest principle of flight to understand. Every object on earth has weight and it is caused by the downward pull of gravity. Lift Lift is an aerodynamic force that holds an airplane in the air and is created by air moving over the wings. The air moving over the top of the wing is moving faster than the air across the bottom. Thus the lower pressure is created on the top of the wing. Because of this lower pressure, the airplane will be able to fly. In order for an airplane to be able to fly, the thrust has to equal drag and the lift has to equal weight. If for any reason the amount of drag become larger than the amount of thrust, the plane will slow down. If the thrust is increased so that it is greater than the drag, the plane will speed up. Similarly, if the amount of lift drops below the weight of an airplane, the plane will descend. By increasing the lift, the pilot can make the airplane climb. That's how airplanes fly in the air. We post videos every week. Subscribe to us so that you won't miss anything. Thank you for watching.